Hey, good morning, everybody. So, I should have done a video yesterday, but I didn't because I worked from 2.30 in the morning to 7.30 last night. So, yeah, but I'm back, baby, I'm back. So here's day number three. Now, I may sound kind of loud right now. Not as loud as that car, though, I tell you what. Um, but the interesting thing about conflicts is you, what you got to realize is that when you enter into a conflict situation and where it's starting to escalate into that argument phase, you got to remember one thing. The first person to yell or to raise their voice loses. And people may say, well, why is that? But why are you saying that, Jeremiah? Well, because as soon as a person starts to raise their voice, everybody else is gonna stop listening. Because, for one, who likes getting yelled at? I mean, really? Now, here's the important thing. As there have been many situations in my life where I'm not mad, but I get really loud. And the problem is, is that when I get really loud, everybody just kind of shirks back and gets farther away and farther away. And they don't want to, they don't want to stand next to me. And then usually what happens is somebody goes like this, turn your volume down. It's like, oh, sorry. I just got, I was just super passionate. I was enthusiastic about this thing. I was just so excited. And so sometimes people don't know the difference between how passionate you are and whether or not you're actually upset and you're yelling. So just as a reminder to all of you people out there, should you get into an argument, which I hope by now you're trying to figure out how not to get into those arguments. But should something like that happen where things are escalating, one of the key things that you can remember is if I yell, no one's gonna listen to me. Case in point, on Sunday, I decided to practice what I preach. You know, so I'm sitting, standing, sitting there in the kitchen and Things are talking amongst everybody and all of a sudden things get a little bit louder, a little bit louder, a little bit louder. And my daughter starts yelling, you are And then I yell to her, I go, stop doing blah, blah, blah. And, and then I realize, is she really going to pay attention to me because I'm yelling? Ooh, no. And that's the same thing with everybody else is that if you actually, instead of going louder, you speak softer, slower, and calmer. People are not gonna appreciate that, but they're probably more willing to listen. That's something to think about.